you're saying what, what a grind it was out there. Um, did you expect what you had in live oak to weigh that much? No. No, I didn't. I had one in there that was a two pounder, and, and uh, I figured that would keep me around 16, 16 or 17, you know. But these Grand Lake fish, they're so healthy. I mean, they you think one weighs three and a half and he weighs four and a quarter. So uh, I was fortunate. I mean, I didn't get very many bites today and, and I actually lost a big one. Uh, not a big one, a four and a half pounder. And, and uh, that really hurt. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I was lucky to catch what I caught today or unlucky in the rotations. You know, we'll see tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be the day that I know why, if I was lucky or unlucky today. What was huge was about the third cast I caught a four and a half. And that got me fired up and I caught a three and I caught a two pounder and then uh, I lost a big one. You know, I had a, a three hour span there where I couldn't catch anything and I was worried about that fish and then I caught, you know, two fours and, and uh, once I had those I decided, well, I'm going to go fish for, I'm going to go try to catch a big one deep. It's not happening. You fish too fast today. Did you have to slow things down? Or? I'm actually fishing pretty fast. I think, you know, everybody's saying the water temperature, you have to slow it down. It doesn't have anything to do with the water temperature. It has to do with the water color. These fish are not seeing the bait. If they, if the water was, was clear as uh, Grand Lake usually is, you can fish fast. But they just cannot see the bait. You have That's the reason you have to go slow is because they have to find it and then they have to come and get it. I think I think the biggest challenge is running down the lake and not stopping. I mean, and stopping where I have history. I mean, I run down the lake and I'm headed three miles down the lake, and I pass ten places where I've caught them in the past, and I have to pull in and fish. That's the that's the most challenging thing. I cannot uh, bypass those places. Hmm. But what's going to happen? What hopefully happens is I'm going to pull in on one of them and catch a couple of bags. You know, we'll see. There was something that happened this morning. I don't know. It, it happened at Detroit in the open. I, don't know, I was just calm as a cat, and I don't know why that is. I mean, there's. I don't know if there was something wrong, or I just. I was calm, and, and you know the, the the fish right off the bat really helped out. I mean, that was the one. You know, you get in at nine o'clock and you don't have a bite because there's a bite. You need to be fishing around fish the first two hours because they're biting the first two hours and then they're biting in the afternoon. For me, in my opinion, which obviously doesn't mean a whole lot, but that's my opinion.